Hi, I'm Shelley Fischel from Tomorrow's VA. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to add icons or vector graphics to your PowerPoint presentation. Just to note that these are available in Word, Outlook as well, not just in PowerPoint. Now, these came in in December 2016 and in mid-January they've had an update. So let's get started. We'll start on the Insert ribbon and we'll come to this Icons button. Now this is where your icon library lives. And here I can pick from a whole load of ready-made icons which are categorised down the left-hand side. Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm looking for the man on a bike. Here we go, the man on a bicycle. And I'm going to add it into my presentation. Now because this is a vector graphic, I can resize it um, and do all sorts of things. So I could duplicate it using Control and D and now I've got two. Let's have a third person and then I can start to change them. So this one I'm just going to go to the shape fill and make him navy blue. We'll make this one orange and we'll make this one the turquoise. So really simple to do. Now the difference that they added in January of this year is to select that graphic and choose convert to shape. Now you'll only see this button if you are an Office 365 subscriber and you've got PowerPoint 2016. It will choose to, it will say are you really sure? So we'll say OK. And now this graphic has become a shape. And I have drawing tools format. Now I can double click on any element. So here I've chosen this wheel. Uh, and I'm going to make this wheel a different colour. I'm going to make the wheel orange. And I'm going to give it a dark blue outline. And I'm going to do the same for this one. And there I go. I'm going to choose the body of the um, little man. I'm going to come down to texture. Uh, and let's say this one's called denim. So he's wearing denim today. And I'm going to change the texture of his head to uh, pink tissue paper. And it's as simple as that. I can change all of this together at the same time so I can make the whole thing blue or again I can choose different elements I can convert it to a shape agree it and then I get to choose the different elements which I can change however I want to do that now I've also got this um, set um, I'm just going to make this one a different color right so let's say I want to make them both yellow I can go back to the home ribbon click on the format painter and paint that formatting over the other element of the graphic. So the Format Painter is a great little tool that exists across all of the Office packages and it basically paints the formatting. So there you have how to add a graphic, insert icons, choose the one you want. If you need to move it, you can do. If you want to resize it, you can do. If you want to colour it in differently, maybe you want to fill it in. And then if you want to convert it to a shape, you can change each element and make each element look completely different to the rest. For more tips like this, or to find out more information about using Microsoft Office in your VA business, head over to www.tomorrowsva.com where you'll find the ability to sign up to our list and get loads of tips and also access to our brilliant online training courses.